there's huge demand for access to the coast. And we see that most clearly here along our beaches in Southern California. Right now I'm standing at Deer, at, at Deer Creek Beach, which is so named because that, that right there is Deer Creek, uh, up this little draw and up that, that, that road right there is Deer Creek Road uh, on PCH in the eastern part of Ventura County, not quite to um, Neptune's Net, not quite to County Line. This is a beach that's always been popular, but it's relatively, uh, something has historically been relatively something of a hidden gem of, you know, people come here, but there aren't massive, massive crowds usually. But all during the past many months of the pandemic, this has become a huge place. It was a place where initially PCH was not shut down. And when PCH was shut down in terms of parking, because of the roadway here, because of Deer Creek Road, we sometimes had, you know, over 100, 120, 130, 140 cars parked on this access road. And so people were technically not, not violating the county ordinance or the Caltrans restrictions um, to park on PCH, so they weren't doing that, but they were parked very easily, uh, uh, a very easy walk down to the beach. So here's the beach right here at uh, Deer Creek. It's a nice little beach, nice little sort of uh, small, a local classic Ventura County uh, beach right here. And what we found is there's a huge amount of inelasticity for coastal demand. Recall from your economics classes, an elastic demand is something that changes over time or with conditions. Uh, the, pr the proportions of demand or amounts change. Uh, with in an inelastic demand, people want the resource and want to utilize the resource um, independent of outside forcing. That they're just gonna they're gonna want to consume this thing, utilize this thing, and that's what we've seen. Uh, or oh, actually, we're gonna investigate that a little bit. We're gonna see uh, how much in in elasticity there is uh, at some of our coastal sites. So again, if, if there was a very elastic demand for, for accessing the beach and coming to the beach, what we would expect to see is uh, lots of people here, maybe on a nice summer weekend like this, um, end of the summer in 2020. But then when we had restrictions because of COVID, because of whatever, uh, we would see um, uh, demand go way down. We did not see that, at least in the broad strokes, um, uh, during COVID, what we saw is as we shut down certain beaches, people just squished over to others. So people smushed out and, and moved their demand to other uh, sites, other locations. They still wanted to go to the beach. Indeed, when our beaches were completely shuttered, we saw tons of folks going up our, our coastal roadways here along the Malibu coast and um, uh, 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 looking at the beach, viewing the beach, par partaking of the beach, from, from on high, from, from the cliff overlooks. Um, all kinds of people parking, even though the signs say, said, you know, no parking. Um, if there wasn't a pretty consistent uh, law enforcement patrolling of these areas, um, people would go ahead and, um, and, and, and park there anyway until a sheriff deputy or whomever came up and, and rousted them. So we're gonna check that out. We're gonna, we're gonna look and see how much demand changes over a restriction. Um, in terms of access to the coast. So when we have uh, limitations on, on how and where we can go to the coast, the question is gonna be, um, is, is, of course there'll be some difference because people maybe just can't physically get there because the parking lot's closed, but do those people move to another place up or down the coast? So that one particular site might have less visitation, but do we see uh, at least grossly the same level of visitation in the region around a given coastal access point? The other thing that we've, uh, that, that the uh, sort of a side thing we can look at is um, many, any, any potential impacts from Corona. Now, uh, from, the, from the coronavirus uh, uh, closures in this era, that's really hard to measure. How do we measure how much sand is coming out or whatever? But one thing that is relatively easy to measure is the amount of, of biological hazard, the amount of protective personal equipment waste that we see. And that is, while we've always had some amount of waste on the beach that comes from rubber gloves and stuff, we've seen, uh, it's, it's pretty easy to see a large increase in that relatively easy to identify type of pollution. So here we see, so there's a, a, a COVID mask. There's a COVID mask. And as we go up and down the coast here, we can see um, evidence. So when we, we come check our sites, we're gonna be looking at how many people are visiting our site. It'd be great to get a count of, of people but in particular, what we're most interested in is, is 
uh, one of the easiest ways to do, do this relatively fast is one is the number of people at the beach or, or at the coastal access point. The other is the amount of vehicles that are at or driving by a particular coastal access point. So we're gonna look at that. We're gonna look at, at vehicles here. Um, if we can, we're gonna look at people on the beach, but that's that's another level of, of access and time commitment. But at a minimum, we wanna see how many people are parking at or near our coastal access points. And we wanna see in a very general sense uh, how perhaps uh, waste is, um, is being deposited on our coastal access points. Now that waste isn't so much in elastic, inelastic, that's more just sort of a, another measure of, of people in the time of Corona behaving maybe not ideally. But that's our lab for this week as we look at uh, uh, coronavirus uh, attendance here. We have about 140 people here right now in, um, I'm recording this in late August, no closures at the moment. This is one of our last full weekends of the summer and we have a lot of people out here at the beach uh, visiting this beach is right here at uh, Deer Creek. It's about 151, I think my last count was people uh, using the beach. So great to see all these people using our coastal resources. Let's see how that changes when we have a closure, when we have a restriction. Awesome.